Good morning. I'm Jeannie with Creations by Jeannie and today we're going to be making boxes using the Banner Framelits die set and I will be using the two largest dies that are in the box or bag, however you want to call that. Oh. We're going to get our platform in. Bottom one down. And this is the largest, and it's going to be, we're going to cut out one. Well, actually, technically you're cutting out four. I've just already pre-cut some of them to save time. We're going to cut this one, one here, and this is going to make horrible noise. Just got stuff in my way today. I didn't realize that. Okay. Now I'm just running it backwards, back out. My camera is in the way, so I can't go all the way in both directions. Okay, this one's done, and we can put the that framelit banner framelit away. We're done with it next. In our sandwich, I have the magnetic platform, one of the cutting boards down, DSP, the framelit over it, and then a another board on top that makes our sandwich. We should be done with the big shot. So I'm getting the big shot out of our way. Mm -hmm. Get the magnetic board out of our way as well. Okay, our next step is to score each of these. We have to score them at one and three eighths and then at three and three fourths I didn't go all the way on that one okay three and three fourths okay we just repeat that for all four of the larger cut pieces. Okay, our next step, once we've got all of these scored, is to adhere the DSP to the black and you're going to kind of want to put it all the way to the tips on the DSP and that being is because we're going to stick these on top of here before we fold and just kind of line it up and there we go. Now let's get the next one. All right, now we've got our last one here. Let's get this on. Okay. Now with these done, <laughs> I've got it stuck because I've got some glue on the top. We've already scored these on the back, so now we just are going to fold and then fold. Uh, 
that's why we didn't have to bother scoring the DSP because it will, <coughs> excuse me, fold up with the score line that's on the black cardstock. Did that one the wrong way. Okay. All right, I know this box is gonna seem scattered, so let's go over the steps again really quick. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, first thing I did was I cut four pieces of cardstock using the largest Banners Framelit die. Then I cut four DSP using the second largest Banners Framelit die. And then now I've just, I've scored this one at one and three eighths. And then the other side at, so one and three eighths and then six and three fourths. Okay, to adhere our boxes, we are going to use the sticky strip. And we're just going to put two pieces of strip down on each one of these. So we're just going to go ahead and lay it on all four pretty much in the same place. One across the where the score line's at and then one towards the edge. This is just sort of a, it's going to end up being an open top box that you can put treats down in. Here, we are going to need some strip um, up on the top of them, but we'll have to do that in a sec because they don't all need it. So I'm going to show you all these. Okay. Let's get these. I like pressing the sticky strip. I know you don't always see others doing this. But to me it helps you get the backing off. Plus it ensures that that sticky strip is down and it's not coming up. Now let's get these backings off. Be sure to check out my contest or contest my giveaway that I have going on I'm going to be giving away four stamp sets and I think equally amount ink pads and a few other items I said up to a $50 value, but actually some of these prizes may be closer to $100 that I'm going to be giving away. And if you go to my website, creationsbygenie.com, I will tell you um, how you can go about getting those items, or uh, entering the contest. Okay, these two, they do not stick on top of each other. You just line them up side by side like that. And then the next one's going to come and sit. And it's probably easier if we just do the one. Hopefully I can see this. We're just going to line up this corner with that one first. 
Okay, then we'll come in with this next one. I'm going to bring it to there and line it up. Oh, I was crazy. I did not need the sticky strip on. I put it on the wrong side. As usual, I do something wrong in these videos because my brain goes faster than what I can think. Okay, so those are down. So we'll solve this problem really quick because we do not want sticky tape in the bottom of that box. I am just going to take a sheet of paper. Let me measure the measurement here. Oop, just hit the camera. Okay, to solve that problem, I just took a plain piece of white typing paper, or printer paper, I mean, and we're just going to put that down over. Okay. Now see, the box is just going to be together like this. That's how it will close up. And actually, I don't, I'm not going to use any more sticky tape on it. That is it. Okay, now to finish the box, we've got some treats in a little bag, and I tied that shut. They're just going to go in like that. That's all there is. Now we're going to take some pretty ribbon here. This is the white uh, ribbon, um, organza ribbon. Get how much I think I'm gonna need, probably about right there. Maybe too much. Okay, we're just going to tie this around. And we can move that up after we get it tied so it's better. But we do have to keep it turned on its side. Okay. There we go. Then I can get the bow tied. Okay. Oop, that is all wrapped in on itself. There we go. Okay, and then that is our box for the day. That is just held together with the ribbon. And if you want to, which I did it on this one, is you can add a tiny bit of a snail like to the flap and you can press it down on there but I left it because that way the box will kind of open up once you pull the ribbon off and you can probably still get the treats out and that's it's gonna pull those tabs what I thought but anyway that's just a little different way of making a box uh, trying to be creative here like I said I made that using the framelit the banner Framelit dies, and I know it was a little crazy video, but that's me. Um, I'm Creations by Jeannie. I'm Jeannie Owens, and I hope you enjoyed my wacky little box today that I made. Thanks for watching.